On Saturday, October 2nd, 2010, the Courthouse Green in downtown Fort Wayne is buzzing with peace signs, brightly colored flags, and a variety of people with one shared message, end the war between the United States and the Middle East. The Fort Wayne Peace Action Coalition, Fort Wayne Peace and Justice, and the Veterans for Peace band together monthly to rally support for our troops by emphasizing the unnecessary destruction of war. Fort Wayne for Peace has been convening in this very spot every month for eight years to end the war in Iraq. And now, with the war on terror raging on and potentially extending to Iran, what motivates these people to protest? Is blogging the future of protesting, or can peace activists and peace bloggers join forces through the varying forms of media to achieve their goals? Why are you protesting? We are here to actually work for peace. We want peace. Everybody says they want peace. We're willing to work for it. Well, it's what this country is founded on. Well, it's part of the people we are. I'm all for civic engagement, public activity of various types. It's not just restricted to voting on elections. I don't know if they wake up tomorrow saying somehow I was affected by seeing this. But for a moment, it gives them a chance to reflect on, on what the issue is we're trying to, we're, we're, we're talking about here. Why am I here? Because I like it here. I think peace is a good thing. Peace is happy. Smiles for peace. What do you think about blogging as a form of activism? Some people have expressed it as like electronic media allows us to cast a broader net to make the activists, people who identify with a certain cause or who know about a certain cause, much greater than it would be otherwise. But it, it's a much more shallow participation. It's easier to click, I like this group on Facebook, than it is to show up, say, at, at a rally such as the one that you attended in Fort Wayne. It's an effective way for people who, who actually feel similar to um, the, the group here to, to at least uh, touch base with. I don't know if it attracts people that don't think about peace much, but it, at least for those that, that, that uh, they think about it, it, it's a place to go look for resources and communication. I don't think anything's going to work. I think they're going to do what they want to do. Uh, it's obvious. Uh, I'm a senior. I'm not into blogs yet, but I've, I'm sure, and I know increasing numbers of churches are realizing that's the way many people communicate today. So uh, I think it's, it's good if it opens doors and communication between people. Blogging is excellent, and electronic media in general is, is an excellent way to get the word out quickly and to share news that otherwise is missed by um, the traditional press. One of the things that's very evident is that people tend to be more extreme. Uh, they do less self-censoring, and so they tend to be a little bit more hypercritical of others um, and tend not to respect other people's feelings or think about how it might be interpreted um, by other people. So you do have those kinds of concerns. How important is the role of media in protesting? People look at the, the folks who turn out for demonstrations, um, the, the kind of on-the-street activism as opposed to the virtual activism, and they dismiss it as only speaking to themselves or uh, being ineffective. Nothing's worked. I think that, that there's a way in which the effectiveness of that on-the-street activism isn't to be gauged by like immediate political change. Um, it takes a long time to spread the word, and um, but but more so, I think those activities are for the people who hold a minority position, but care enough to go out into the streets or to travel across the country. That if you sign an online petition, that's worth something. They count that. It's worth a number of points. If you write a letter to the editor, it's worth more, a lot more. If there's people on the street with signs and it's covered by the media, it's ex worth exponentially more to the people in Washington uh, than, than you know, an online petition or a blog or even a call to 
your legislator, all of those are important, but their but their media coverage of people standing on the street with signs is worth way more than any of those things. And so it counts. It really does count. We've uh, gotten very good uh, uh, media attention. Uh, two dozen front page references in the local papers. Uh, over two dozen section covers. Uh, we have nice color in the papers now. We've interviewed on all the TV stations. Uh, CNN was right here. I talked to Brian Sack, one of Glenn Beck's uh, sidekicks. He sent a four-person camera crew. So I got to call Glenn Beck a warmonger on CNN. And uh, Glenn showed it. What a sport. One of the reasons that this can be so dangerous is because there isn't a good filter on information online. Um, and so you have stories that people take up as being very credible when really um, the, the research isn't there, that, that people are being misled on all, on all places of the political spectrum. Martin Luther King said, you, you know, you need to provoke a crisis. That sometimes you have to dramatize injustice and you need to provoke a crisis. You also need to include as many people as you can. And uh, the web blogging allows us to do that. On September 11, 2001, changed the world. 19 people were funded with maybe half a million dollars, 500,000. They changed our lives forever. Why can't 19 people, truly really committed, change it for good? All that's to the good, I think. When, when we have civic engagement, we have a better society and a better democracy. Though the prevailing motivation of the individual peace activists is articulated through their sincere interviews, their collective objective is best surmised on the Fort Wayne for Peace Action Coalition's webpage to promote ongoing national solidarity for peace in Iraq, Afghanistan, Palestine, and around the world. In an era that embraces and admires the nostalgia and power of a painted cardboard sign, as well as advanced technology and online forums, all facets of communication lay within the grasp of the protesters. The challenge is having enough conviction to use them. You can go, just do it.